And with dropping temps, it does not look like road conditions are going to get any better anytime soon. There are a number of slick spots in the area causing a lot of problems with people sliding off the side of the road. 5 News reporter Bailey Devane joining us live with what you need to know looking into tonight. Bailey. Thanks, Darren. Yeah, it is so icy. Just walking on some pavements is proving to be pretty difficult. I've been slipping and sliding just standing in this parking lot, and it is the same story for the drivers on I-49, and the road conditions could get even worse. We've seen cases of people sliding off the side of the road across our area. One icy patch of road near Parkwood Drive and Rogers caused a pizza delivery driver to slide through a fence and into a backyard swimming pool. There's a bridge, you know, right here off, off to my right, and it does get really icy, obviously. I'm hoping that she's okay. I heard that she is, she is okay. The driver is okay, but for this reason, emergency managers say to be just as careful driving on back roads. They say bridges and overpasses will be the most slick. On our secondary roads, um, the white and yellow lines, um, if, if that road has those, they start to disappear. When the lines start to disappear, the uh, outline of the road may be unknown. Fort Smith emergency responders are getting ready for more icy weather to hit the area. Travis Cooper says if you end up in a ditch to stay inside, call 911 and turn on your hazard lights. Immediately turn your hazards on. We want to make sure that you are visible uh, day or night. That way the drivers coming and going southbound or northbound, uh, they can see you. That's the one of the most important things that you can do. It is getting colder, so the ice is going to keep building up throughout the night. Live in Rogers, covering news where you live, Bailey Devane, 5 News.